started in the year 2012 with a vision to give the best of everything to the children so uh, whatever activity is done in the school is always centered around the child and that's why it's called as the pupil uh, the pupil means the student and also pupil means the pupil of the eye through which light enters so we also believe as a school that we should be a channel through which child achieves his or her vision for life so that is the motive behind uh, starting our school and uh, whatever we do we l- we love to do it in its depth to its excellence and one such program is our super 100 program the super 100 program really aims to bring the best out of children when they are preparing uh, for their competitive exams as we all know it's a very tough exam there are nearly 18 lakh people write the neat exam and only about 40 to 50000 seats are available in the country so the amount of uh, competition is really huge uh, similarly same goes for je where we 10 lakh aspirants and then we have only about 16000 seats in the iit uh, so here what we try to do in our school is that we try to give the best program to the child so that the child excels uh, in the competitive exams but not in a very stressful manner but it in a manner that is very conducive for the child very very friendly for the child very nurturing for the child so that the child does not feel the stress at all so that's the uh, basis behind our super 100 program and why uh, we believe in happy children uh, when somebody enters the school we always feel the childhood is the most uh, happiest uh, period in anyone's life so we want children to be happy we want them to be fearless we want them to feel competitions with the uh, uh, with zeal uh, we want them to face life with zeal and enthusiasm so that is how we have crafted the super 100 program So we always believe in the innate greatness of every child. So every child is born unique, every child can achieve what they want to provided they put their mind to it, they focus to it. Uh, nothing that a child cannot, uh, a child cannot achieve. So, uh, so we believe in give, creating the right environment for them and if they have the right aptitude, if they come with a goal that I want to crack the IITs, I want to crack the need then our program is definitely a program for them because the aptitude is the most important and once the child is, uh, wants to do it and, the, I, 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 and we, are the, we are all there to support the child with the program, with the mentors, with the teachers, the parents all of us play a role in uh, bringing out his or her potential so we believe every, any, any child can achieve anything provided they set their mind to it So definitely uh, we had to look at it very, uh, we had to look at it scientifically, we have to look at it psychologically from the child's point of view, we have to take it in, take many things into consideration before crafting the program. We didn't want it to be a run of a mill program, uh, everybody runs a program, uh, it is very stressful, uh, uh, they, it is a very tough time for the child, but we don't want to do it that way. So what we have done is like we have extremely small class sizes so that we are able to focus on every child individually and lot of time is spent by the teacher with the child. For example our class schedule we have two and a half hours of physics, two and a half hours of chemistry, two and a half hours of maths or biology every day. So the two and a half hours uh, the concept is given to the child and then the teacher sits with every child and problems are solved. Depending on their speed, some go at a higher level, some uh, have uh, trouble doing the basics. So everything is catered to in a a nice way within the classroom because we have the time. We have two and a half hours with the teacher, uh, with the student per subject in a day. So the two and a half hours is utilized in a way that so that the child is not bombarded with the knowledge, the all theory, all two and a half hours. We give them the concept, then we give them the worksheet. We make sure they do 20 uh, questions in physics, 20 questions in chemistry, 20 questions in biology. It's a rule. It's called as a rule of 20. So when we do that in a week, imagine how many questions they will do. Like uh, 20, like uh, 60. Uh, so yeah, 300 questions. They, 100 questions per subject they will do. In the 50 weeks, they will be doing about 50,000 questions. So 
that, that's the thing. So, so we do it, we break it out nicely. After two and a half hours, there's a one hour session. We usually have in the mornings one hour of yoga, then we have another two and a half hour session, then we break for lunch and rest, then another two and a half hours, and then we break for evening uh, games. So after that, it's up to the child. Some of them go back home, some of them stay back with the teachers so that uh, they stay with them and they work out their sums then and there and go home. Because nowadays many children find it very difficult to go home and concentrate because of all the distractions at home, TV, all that. So we encourage children to even if they want, wish to, to stay back till 7.30 in the evening, clear their doubts, study everything in the class itself, I mean within the school premises, so that when they go home they sleep and come back fresh. So since it's uh, a lot of free time is given in between, we feel this program has worked out well. My JE preparation, I started with joining the S1 batch in school from 11th and joined the integrated course in school and then from then we started learning like higher level physics, chemistry, maths that were preparation for JE and we finished our 11th portion very early in January and we started 12th in February and we finished that portion by August I think, August, September. So we had a lot of time to prepare just for JE and just by doing questions and things like that. And uh, I never felt in any way that we were rushing through anything. In case we had trouble in any lesson or any problem, they'd like take an extra day and teach us those things specifically and stuff. When I first joined the program, I wasn't exactly like, uh, I didn't exactly know that I was going to do JE or any of that. I joined because I liked math, I liked physics, and I just wanted to learn. But the more, I, the more time I spent here with all my teachers and all of that, I realized that I, engineering is what I wanted to do. So, I, so then I guess that motivated me to work towards JE and other uh, engineering entrance exams. Once we get to school, we usually have, we have one class in the morning for two and a half hours. And then we get a break. And after our break, sometimes we have yoga for a little bit. So we meditate and we decompress. And then we get ready and we have our next class. After that, we have our lunch break, which is like about an hour long. So we spend that time like talking and relaxing. We take walks around the school, things like that. Then after that, we have another class. And then we get to play sports for about an hour in the evening to like have some physical activity. And then we have study sessions, so those go on until about 7 in the night. So it sounds very stressful, very intimidating. It's actually not because we're, we're doing it out of our own will and we're doing it in a very like friendly and open environment. So it doesn't feel like we're being forced to do anything because we're doing it with people that are like helpful, motivating. I have been a part of this program for like the past one year so you can say I'm like the first I'm a member of the first batch that our school has had of it and I would say I have certainly benefited from it over the course of my preparation at least for the last one year so during the course of my 11th grade it was a little unstructured in the sense that my preparation didn't have direction I was often like wandering off uh, I would start off doing physics for about an hour or so go off into chemistry because I always liked chemistry then never go to math because I hated math and then when I came to 12th, I had a certain math teacher who was pretty strict, told me to like focus on math because it's the subject like, like, that like differentiates between the good students and the bad students often. So uh, I like benefited quite highly from like the entire program overall. In my future, I'm actually planning to go to USA uh, and in, to my surprise when I actually told Ashwin sir and the faculty that I didn't want to like seriously prepare for JE and I wanted to go to USA instead of IIT, they didn't like, they didn't even say no, like you can't do this or anything. They said, okay, let's try to help you and they pivoted instantly and they helped me so much. They gave me recommendation letters and transcripts and all that really fast and I was able to like get, like get, I got into two colleges already, which is very, it's a very big deal. So. Uh, this school is very welcoming to like new people, new students and everyone, uh, everyone here and if you have any goals you want to achieve, even if it's outside of the scope of JE or IIT, these teachers will help you get through it. So it's not just academically, it's like for every other thing as well they help you a lot. Uh, 
the Super 100 program is catered towards Indian entrance exams like JE and NEET. But my teachers have also supported me with other university entrance exams. For example, I wrote the University of Oxford's physics exam. And the school is very versatile in that way. The knowledge I learned for JE, although the, the way I had to approach questions is very different for that exam, but I didn't have much trouble using the same knowledge because the way we're taught, we're not taught to memorize or just learn, we're taught to actually absorb the knowledge and apply it in our own way and we're encouraged to do that, so that helped a lot. The school started the Super 100 program to help students achieve their dream college by cracking JE or me. The school first started this for the NTSC exam for my batch and with my school's help I was able to become an NTSC scholar here in both the first and the second stage. The NTSC batch really built the foundation for my JE preparation and thus my school started the IELTS program from the students of 6th grade to help them build the foundation from an earlier age. Coming to the Super 100 program, I described it as both intensive and relaxed. It might not make sense to an outsider, but it does to the students. We have strict schedules to ensure intensive learning, but we also have extra curriculums such as sports and yoga to help us relax. This really brings out the best in the students and has helped me achieve my rank of AIR 226 in KUP by SA and my percentile of 99.986 in GE in 2023. Another great thing about this program is it not just focuses on studies, but helps us improve on our already existing qualities. For example, even though I was part of Super 100, I was still able to become the school pupil leader. Now, this program is excellent for bringing out the all-down development of the student and for producing the leaders of the future. Thank you. It, it, it is very important, like uh, I remember Swami Vivekananda's quote always. So he says, like rather than sitting one hour in meditation, one hour of football, intense playing is even better than meditation, he says in a quote. So that's the value of sports. So uh, when you really, uh, I mean, you, you are in a, the study mode, then you break, you take rest, or you do one hour of sports, it really freshens your mind. It really takes you away from the classroom, it away from the mundane work, and it really clears your mind. It's all about focusing, sharpening, so that you are able to focus for the next two and a half hours in the right way. So definitely meditation and sports play a very vital role, very important role, especially good nutritious food as well. So food, food also plays an important role in, uh, in the day. So uh, all these things help the child uh, uh, get his or her best out of the 20, set 24 hours given to the child. So peers always motivate more than uh, anybody else. So it's all it's always good to uh, work as a group. When they work as a group, I, I, it channelizes their energy. They have their fun at the same time. They have their studies too. They clear each other's doubt. They motivate. One one is down, the other one motivates. So it always helps being in a uh, group, doing the peer study with a mentor if need be. So all this helps in uh, studying. Yeah, so uh, one other uh, important point about the program is the regular monitoring we do. So every week's progress is monitored. So every Saturday they do a test and every Saturday's test is analyzed and by Tuesday we know who has scored well, not scored well and we try to talk to them to see why, what has happened. We, we always sit with the children and try to understand why, whether the lesson was tough that week or whether the, it could be the child was absent for two days. So we sit with the child to make sure that he or she uh, comes back to comes back or springs back to the normality. And of course, uh, a regular mentoring helps. Uh, we, uh, we have motivational speakers who come in and talk to them. Children who have cracked meet uh, IIT uh, come give give them guest lectures. They give them their tips about time management. 
how they should learn one month just before the exam what to learn one day before the exam what to how to prepare for the exam how to have a regular schedule for oneself all these things play an important role and these lab people who have already studying in iit when they come back and say this is how i got to into it this is the schedule i had this is how i manage my time it always helps the children yeah so mental health now plays a very important role especially after covid so we have appointed two counselors or two full time uh, clinical psychologists are there in the school uh, where children are free to go talk to them whenever they want to and of course seeing them in class we really identify if something is pulling them down then we call in the parent also we have a regular counseling session with the parent with the child so that we try to understand what is not working and try to work with the child so iris is the foundation program which we have from class 6 7 or upwards 6 to 10 we have the iris program so iris program is for uh, uh, people who really want to start early to start their uh, 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 edge the competitive way, the exams who want to do the uh, who want something more in academics they are they are all high achievers they want to go to the next level so it's kind of a differential learning we do so that the children in the iris Uh, are uh, given a multiple choice question they are exposed to uh, higher concepts so that it's easier when it comes to 11 and 12 11 and 12 is a very short time uh, the transition is very hard from 10th to 11th 10th standard is very minimal the subjects they learn is very minimal 11th is too vast so to make the bridge easier to make the transition easier it's uh, yeah, it's nicer if they come through the iris program then they are used to the higher concepts so the transition and in class 11 and 11 will be easier yeah. so i i feel the super under program is a good gateway for children who really want to aspire to crack neat or je uh, we feel it's it's a very uh, ideal program because uh, the numbers are very less individual attention is there for every child and uh, every child is monitored error books are corrected every week whatever has gone wrong is checked every week so so much of uh, close monitoring like parents happens with the mentors and teachers and the teachers are extremely uh, it's not that they handle a large class and they can't look into each child it's pretty small class so ch- teachers spend enough time to know of the strengths and weakness of every child to help them to give them strategies which subject they should uh like do first should they uh, do answer biology first or physics first or chemistry first we analyze we give them strategies so all this i uh, overall we feel it's a very nice program because the because of the numbers and the teachers we have and the environment as, uh, as a whole and the program as such which is very uh, uh I mean holistic well i think will help the child uh, crack neat or je with these yeah so we believe in bringing uh, as i previously said we bring we believe in bringing out the innate potential in every child so excellence in art excellence in sport excellence in even accountancy whatever they do they should be the best so that is how we uh, we want our children to be so uh definitely we'll be doing something for cuet that is another entrance exam which has come up now and of course doing ca coaching and uh, uh, coaching for other uh, uh, clat like exams will uh, we are on the process we are still we are we still motivate children to take up them we'll be coming up with more programs for that and not only in academics in even in uh, uh, para academics we have we want them to be good swimmers good uh, sportsmen good artists good musicians